Hello guys, this is the first video of many videos discussing about how to invest in shares in Bhutan. In this video, I'll be giving you all an overview about shares. Just to clarify, I'm not an expert and these are all through my experience. So whenever you are thinking of investing in something, you have to know what you are getting into. Whether think you are investing is uh, an asset or a liability. Asset which uh, anything which can give you an added value like land it's known to increase its value over time so land is considered to be an asset apartment building house if it generates income by rent it is known as it's considered to be an asset and physical metals like gold and silver are also known to have its value increased with time so these are considered as assets so what are liabilities so liabilities are anything which has a uh, financial obligation so which uses your income like if you buy a vehicle for self-use you have to uh, service the vehicle vehicle every now and then and also if it gets damaged you have to use your finances to repair it so vehicle is considered to be a liability but in the other hand if you give the vehicle for uh, like if you buy a vehicle and give it for a hire it is it can be known as an asset because you're generating income from that one and loans uh, like any loans if you take a loan you have to pay interest every now and then so these loans are also known as a liability and assets which don't generate income are known as liabilities like in the first column i've uh, written down house so there is an argument that that if you if you don't give a house for a rent but if you stay in that house the house becomes a liability because you have to repair the house every now and then and uh, there's no I mean there is no generation of income so house if you are rent, uh, staying in the house and if it's not generating any income it's known it's uh, going to be known as a liability so in Bhutan uh, what uh, what are the things you can invest in we have uh, shares we have bonds we have commercial paper we have also like uh, savings account and insurance uh, which have a low returns but it is also a type of investment so the important question is what is a share let's give you an example suppose i'm an owner of a manufacturing uh, incense sticks and i want to sell this company and i couldn't find any buyer what i will do is i'll break down this company into shares like if my company is worth nearly 10,000 and if I break it down into 1,000 shares, it will be easy to sell to many buyers. Like per share, it will be nearly 10. So I will be able to sell this company to many uh, buyers. So what will happen is that if a person buys my company, if a person buys one share of my company, he'll be owning one by 1,000th of the company. To continue, if my company gets a profit, annual profit of 20,000, uh, the profit is per share will be 20. Uh, to give you an example, this has been taken from the Royal Security Exchange Bhutan website. And uh, we have many listed companies in that stock exchange. And uh, to take out an example, we'll take a example of Bhutan National Bank, which is worth 32.18 per share right now. And Bhutan National Bank is worth uh, around 488 million shares. In Bhutan, if you want anything to do with shares, you have to go through Royal Security Exchange of Bhutan, which is the only stock exchange in Bhutan and is also considered as the smallest, one of the smallest stock exchange in the world. The office is located in the Royal Insurance Corporation of Bhutan building. And uh, in the next uh, videos, uh, we'll uh, discuss about how to use this stock exchange to trade shares, to buy shares. Thank you.